Good morning everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Andrea and welcome in today's Hatha Yoga class. Whenever I ask you what you want to do, it's nearly the same postures, the nice postures, so today we'll kind of take them and do it in a different way. So usually you like lying down and we're gonna get them up in the air. So it's gonna be slightly different. Uh, just listen to your body, enjoy the stretch. Use the wall, use the chair, uh, use a little support. It's, it's good to be in the pose. And even if your balance is not the best today, try tomorrow, it may be better. <laughs> or it may not. <laughs> And if this is your first time here on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon as well so you won't miss any future videos. It's, it's one video a day, all different kind of stuff, different kinds of yoga, Pilates, Tai Chi and meditation as well. So yes, today we're starting up in the air and I know I've got a block, we may use it later on so you can grab a block on the way as well. Today we're going to start with the feet wide open. So please open your feet, but make sure the toes are pointing forward. Keep the knees slightly bent. Bring the pelvis under, squeeze your bum. <laughs> you don't have to take the belly in, it's not Pilates, but maybe in some postures you will have to. So at the beginning, it's all nice. You can breathe into your belly, you can breathe into your chest, uh, whatever feels the best for you. And let's just roll the shoulders backwards a few times. So maybe you can hear those shoulders cracking, those bones and joints. Or oh, I can hear mine. <laughs> and then roll the shoulders forward a few times. Beautiful. Slowly stop the movement. Let's bring the arms down, and as you inhale, circle the arms up. Relax your shoulders, look up, and as you exhale, circle the arms down and drop the chin to the chest. As you inhale, up again, nice and slow, there's no rush. And exhale, down. Inhale. Inhale up, and this time as you exhale, I need you to lean forward. Try to bring the hands in the line with your feet. Keep the knees slightly bent. As you inhale, push through your feet, slowly come up and curl the back. Reach the arms up, maybe even arch the back slightly. And exhale, lean forward. And again, try to bring the hands in the line with your feet. Inhale, we're coming up. Smile, stretch. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale down. There you go. Now I need you to bring the hands slightly forward so the back is going to be nice and straight. So we're dropping the chest down, pushing the shoulders up. Push the right hand into the mat in the center. Push the right shoulder about your wrist, so don't leave it here. Push it about the wrist and as you inhale, open the left shoulder, lift the left arm up. Stretch your hand, stretch your fingers up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring the hand down, replace the hands. Push the left shoulder, open the right shoulder. And as you inhale, we lift in the right arm up. And exhale, slowly down. And we'll do it two more times. Inhale, left. 
Exhale down. Inhale right. And exhale down. Now again, bring the hands in the line with your feet. And if you can, you can even grab your ankles. And just take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, try to relax a little bit more. Inhale. And exhale, relax even more. Now, I need you to bring the feet closer and closer. So just take your time until the feet will get in the line with your hips. Toes are pointing forward. And again, just bend the knees slightly. This step as you inhale, slowly come up, uncurl the back, and just roll the shoulders back and down, open the chest, lift your chin, and as you exhale, drop the chin down, roll the shoulders forward, and let's come all the way down again. Inhale up, roll the shoulders, keep smiling. Exhale, chin, shoulders, and down. One more to go. Inhale, up. And as you exhale, try to go as low as you can. And this time, as you inhale, just stand up and curl the back. Look forward. Push the shoulders back and down. Keep the arms alongside your body. And as you exhale, slide the left hand down. We're leaning to the left and we're trying to look up. Inhale, slowly come up. Nice and gentle, there's no rush. Exhale to the right. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, two more, inhale up, exhale, inhale, and exhale, brilliant. <laughs> Hopefully you feel stretched now. As you inhale, slowly come back to the centre. And just exhale here, really push the feet into the mat. This time, as you inhale, we're going to bend the knees, circle the arms up and forward. So the arms are in the line with your ears, not down here. And as you exhale, straighten the legs and lower the arms. So make sure you're not arching the back because it's so easy to arch. I'm not sure if you will see mine. But don't try to do all this, okay? So straight back, pelvis under, arms in the line with your ears. And you can stay higher, you can come lower. We'll stay for five breaths, okay? So we'll go down and we will stay. Ready? Inhale, down. Lengthen and stay. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale to make sure the arms are not coming forward. <laughs> so keep pushing the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Very good. One more breath. Inhale, maybe come a little bit lower. You don't have to. Watch your arms. And the last exhalation here. Now, as you inhale, push through your feet. Slowly stand up. You can feel those legs. And as you exhale, circle the arms down. We can feel the arms as well. Roll the shoulders and shake it all off. Well done. Have a little water if you need it. It's gonna be a little bit warmer now. 
and we will try a balancing pose. So if you think you need something to hold on, something to lean on, uh, grab it. If you have a thick mat, just like me, get rid of it for a moment. <laughs> and make sure you have enough space on your left side because we'll be opening the arm to the left. Now, if you think you're not too flexible, you can always grab a bend. Let me grab a bend. So if you think you will need it, uh, just keep hold on, holding the <laughs> bend up here. Okay, hands to your hips. Shift the weight to your right foot and really ground yourself. Keep the knees slightly bent, bring the pelvis under. And if you need to, you can lean against the wall, it's fine. You can hold onto the chair or the wall, it's completely fine. I would like you to lift your left knee up and you can bring the two fingers around your big toe or if you can't reach you can grab the foot or you can grab the band or anything you have and wrap it around your foot. <laughs> and then we will straighten leg forward and then we'll bring it to the side. Be careful with the band. So once you're ready and you're holding the foot, you can straighten the leg and then bring the leg to the side. And we're going to stay here for five breaths. I already regret it, regret it saying five. Inhale. Exhale, one. So you can keep the knee bent, it's completely fine. Inhale. Very good. Exhale, number two. Inhale, lift the chest, a big smile. Exhale, three. Inhale, very good. Exhale, four, nearly there. Last inhalation here. And as you exhale, release the foot, gently bring it down, shake it up. Was it okay? Or maybe not. <laughs> so remember to hold on to the wall. I was leaning against the wall as well. Come on, help yourself. If, you, if, you know, if your balance is not the best today, it's okay. Help yourself. Feel good. Okay, well now you know what's coming. I'm going to shuffle a little bit to the left and we'll open the right leg. The thing is, when I ask you about your, you know, favorite postures, you usually say the ones where we're lying down. As this one, half frog, full frog, it's kind of the same. But obviously when you're lying down, you're gonna to have to think about the balance. So you all like the postures, but in a different dimensions. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the other side. So again, if you need to hold on to something, please do so. Shift all the way to your left, hands to the hips first. If you need a bend, grab your bend. And we're going to lift the right knee up. We're gonna grab the toe or the foot or deal with the bend. And you can just open here, holding the knee, it's okay. Um, we can straighten the leg, bring the foot to this side. So it doesn't, to be, doesn't, doesn't have to be high, um, even with a bend. Uh, it's all okay. Even if your foot is this low, it's still a hip opener, okay? Even that is just fine. I'm not saying it's easy. It's not easy, but it is fine. So let's stay wherever you are. Inhale. Exhale, one. <laughs> and I'm nearly falling. Inhale. Lift the chest. Exhale, two, keep smiling. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four, very good. Last inhalation here. 
And as you exhale, release, bring the foot down, shake it off, shake it off. Well done. So did you feel the hips opening? Just kind of, it's really good. Oh, we're not kind of limited, nothing is squashing us. You know when we're lying down, open the hip, it's nice, it's nice. But up here, you have so much space around you. I know you're fighting with the balance, but um, we have to be up in the air sometimes as well. Okay, well, that was enough for the standing postures. We will work our way down to the mat. And now I would like you to stand, step back on your mat. And just bring the feet mat width apart. Keep the knees slightly bent, so never lock your knees. Push the feet into the mat. And as you inhale, circle the arms up. Bring the palms together, relax your shoulders. As you exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, come back to the center. And as you exhale, let's lean forward. We're going to stay in a forward fold for a moment. We have a few options. You can just stay here. You can hold your elbows, move. Or you can bring the hands in the line with your feet. So it's your choice. And just breathe, feel the stretch, and smile. And then very slowly stop the movement if you're moving and just bring the hands forward, bring the knees down. Let's come down into all four position. And I just need you to rock forward and back a few times. So you can push the shoulders slightly forward, passing your wrists, and then we're trying to sit down to the heels. So we're just stretching the wrists. We're stretching the shoulders, hips, knees. We're not really stretching the back. We're not arching and curling. We're just keeping it straight for now. And then slowly come back to all four position. Now. I would like you to really come to your left side of your mat and make sure there's enough space on the right side and I would like you to turn your right foot to the right side and we're going to come into a side plank first and then we're going to step the left foot across to the right and then we will twist the hips twist the chest and you can reach up you can reach behind you okay so wherever you feel it's okay for you a little back bend take a deep breath in and exhale all the air out inhale hope you're enjoying it exhale now take a deep breath in, be very careful if you can, as you exhale I would like you to lift your left knee up and maybe just place the hand to your knee and just keep lifting the chest so now the hips are not squared but if you can you can reach for the foot and if you can you can straighten up but I don't think many of you will be able to so just holding the knee Looking up is just fine. Take a deep breath in here. If it's not good for your knee or the uh, wrist, stay down with the foot. Exhale, one more breath. Inhale. As you exhale, release the knee, bring the foot down, and then slowly sit 
there. Slide the right foot be behind the left and just lift the chest. You can bend the elbow, rest your elbow on your knee. You can turn the palm up. You can bring the hands into Chin Mudra, it's okay. And let's just stay here. Inhale, I need you to lift the chest. Exhale. Inhale, so don't let the shoulder drop. A lift. And exhale. You can stay here, it's okay. Or you can bring the arm under, left arm under, and maybe bring the leg of your shoulder, of your arm. And again, we're lifting the chest, we're smiling. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, very good. Inhale. And exhale. Now, I need you to lean towards the right. Left foot forward, whoops. So the hand is behind the legs. I'm gonna be sliding with my long sleeves, but if you want to, you can lift the feet, push through the hands, and I'm just sliding at the moment. So you can come up and levitate. You don't have to, you can try, but you really have to have your leg up over your arm and 90 degree angles. Last try. And then slowly down, shake it off. Sorry, I didn't come up the wall, off the wall, of the mat, but I'm just sliding in today. <laughs> so shake it off. Are we still alive? Are we happy alive <laughs> to be alive? Okay, have a little water. I'm gonna have my tea. And I guess we need to do the other side in a moment. Ready? Let's get into all four position again. And just come to your right side because we're going to turn the left foot to the left side. We're straightening the right leg. And we're not gonna stay here forever because we're going to step the right foot to the left side. We'll kind of shift and open and square the hips. Well, they probably won't go too much. And again, you can reach the right arm up, or you can lean back. Whatever feels the best for you. Take a deep breath and feel the nice stretch. And exhale, so we're still here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Again, we're going to lift the right knee if it's okay for you. And you can just place the hand on your knee. If you're very flexible, you can come uh, grab the foot and lift the, lift the foot up. You don't have to. So we're just lifting, smiling, trying not to fall. Inhale. <laughs> Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, brilliant, nearly there. Last inhalation here. And as you exhale, release the knee, bring the foot down, sit down. Oh, which foot? Now I'm completely... Left foot behind the right foot. Lift the chest, and again, we're bringing the elbow over the knee. You can turn the palm up, chin mudra, down, whatever you feel like, but I need you to lift the chest. So really push through the hand as if you were trying to lift yourself, but we're not lifting ourselves, okay? So just lift the chest, take a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, and you can stay here, or again, you can just bring the arm under, 
leg over and we're still lifting the chest we're still smiling hopefully and we're staying inhale exhale very good inhale and exhale you can stay up here or down there or you can bring the foot down again it's in front of your left foot and you need to keep the leg over your arm and again I'm not gonna push myself up but if you want you can push and just keep the feet uh, kind of crossed take a deep breath in try to push yourself up you don't have to be very very careful exhale and just one last try if you feel like it you have to lean forward and exhale release and down and shake it off well done so how was it are we still alive yes no maybe wrists can you feel the wrists yeah so maybe just circle those wrists wriggle the fingers both ways maybe massage your wrists maybe you can feel your shoulders maybe you want to move your shoulders a little bit and i was wondering in some of the videos i can hear the this kind of sound ringing sound in the background and because when i'm talking you know i don't really listen to the sounds well if it's not too loud but it is there it is there this ringing sound i don't know what it is but they should shut up <laughs> especially when i'm teaching <laughs> okay so sit up nice and tall, legs wherever you want them, lift the chest and just gently move the head from side to side. Now we're going to try to get into the fish in a moment. Make sure the neck is fine, up and down. And then shake it all off. Okay. <laughs> Now, once you're ready, I need you to listen. We're going to try to get into the fish pose. Okay, the fish. It's a very important pose in yoga. Sometimes I don't want to get into it, especially when my hair is up, you know, in a ponytail. Uh, it's in the way. So if your hair is up, don't worry about it too much. Also, if your neck doesn't feel the best today, I give you plenty of options, so just listen to your body again. And we're going to um, keep the knees bent, but I need the knees up first. So don't you worry, I'll give you many options. The fish is a back bend. Okay, fish pose is a back bend, so you have to be careful. Let's keep the knees bent first. And what we're going to do, we're just going to bring the hands behind us. We'll push the chest forward, shoulders back, and this is the first variation. You can look forward, you can look up, you can tilt the head back. Just listen to your body, okay? So we're going to stay here for three breaths. This is the first back bending variation for the preparation for the fish. Inhale, wherever you are. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now one more breath. Inhale. As you exhale, just look forward. And this time. We're going to bring the elbows down. Now remember, you can stay up. It's completely fine. But we're not just here. We're actually pushing the shoulders back. We're pushing the chest forward. Oh, forward. Up. You can look forward. You can look up. You can tilt the head back. Again, just listen to your body. Listen to your neck. Don't hurt yourself. Take a deep breath in. We're lifting the chest. We're smiling. And this, this, is, this is the exhalation. If it's too easy, you can always straighten the legs down to the mat and point your toes. Inhale. Exhale. 
one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. You can stay or you can still be up on your hands, which is completely fine. But now, the last little bit we need to do is to straighten the arms, bring the shoulders down and the top of the head down on the mat as well. Maybe you don't want to do it. If you want to, you can try, but please don't break your neck. You can keep the knees bent, you can keep the legs down on the mat, but you can even lift the legs and point the toes. And if you lift the arms up, this is the fish. Inhale. Exhale, two more breaths. Wherever you are, it's okay. Inhale. Exhale. Last inhalation here. If your legs are up, bend the knees, lower the arms. Now be very, very careful. As you exhale, bring the chin to the chest. Gently straighten the back. Lower yourself down to the mat. Wow, that was a hell of a back bend. So I hope you're fine. And just hug your knees and gently rock your knees from side to side. That was a really good back bend. You need to do a little counter pose now. And even the back being straight is kind of enough for this one. So probably you felt your shoulders the back. If you lifted the legs, you were shaking probably, just like me. Uh, but I really hope you didn't hurt your neck or the shoulders. And I hope you didn't break your neck. So. With every push, you have to be so, so, just, you know, listening to your body and doing what you can. Maybe yesterday you could do more, maybe tomorrow you'll be able to do more, but today is the day when you have to just be careful. Okay? Well done with the fish. Let's bring the feet down. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too much for you. Now you know the fish pose. Uh, just the last little stretch we will do down on the mat. You can grab the pillows, you can grab your blankets already. I need you to stretch your arms off your head and just drop your knees to one side and then to the other, just very slowly on your own pace. You can even look to the opposite side where the knees are going. So just listen to your hips. Are they stretching? Is it too much for them? Listen to your low back. How does your low back feel? But this time we really stretch the whole back. So maybe you can feel those shoulders. Hopefully it's a nice stretch over the head. And hopefully you're smiling. But we're gonna do one more thing. I would like you to slowly stop the movement, bring the knees back to the center. And you can just lift the knees up, relaxing your feet. You can lift the feet higher, keeping the knees bent, or you can straighten the legs out. You can even use the wall if you want to place the legs against the wall. We're not going to stay for too long. Um, I just need you to notice how is your... You can even come into a dead back pose, okay? So if you want to, you can. This is allowed. <laughs> Um, but do what you need to do and just notice how do you feel if you need to stretch your feet, your toes a little bit, your ankles, move your legs. It's good. I like it when you stretch. Take a deep breath in wherever you are. And exhale. We're still here. Last inhalation here. And as you exhale, bend the knees, bring the feet down to the mat. You can bring the arms down as well. And we're just going to relax for a little moment. I hope you're ready for a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of meditation. So if you feel like it, grab your blankets, grab your pillows. I'm just going to grab a block. So just get into the most comfortable position, relax your arms, relax your legs and you can straighten the legs, you can keep the knees bent, do whatever feels the best for you. 
And once you're in a nice, comfortable position, just close your eyes very gently and smile. Breathe. And just notice your breath. Notice where are you breathing into? Is it your belly? Is it your chest? Maybe both. It's, it's fine. Everything is fine. Just notice your breath for a little moment. You have a smile on your faces because that's the point. You should feel good. You should feel happy that you survived this class. Just notice your body becoming more and more soft, more and more relaxed. The breathing is becoming slower, a little bit more peaceful. Just for a little moment, try to forget about the world. Forget about life. Just enjoy lying here and relaxing, breathing. Just enjoy this short moment of peace and quiet. Long, deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly start to move your hands and your feet and your head. And just very slowly bend your knees. If your legs are straight, you can even hug your knees. And just move your knees from side to side. I hope you feel good. And just roll to one side and push yourself up and just sit with your eyes still closed. And I hope you feel stretched, refreshed. I hope you feel happy and at peace. As you inhale, slowly circle the arms up and feel the energy in your whole body. Bring your palms together 
And as you exhale, bring the hands over your third eye, connect with your intuition. Bring the hands over your lips, connect with the truth. And bring the hands over your heart, connect with your soul. Namaste.